are now in the deep end of horror. And I will see the life run out of you. Hello, my children of the popcorn. Well, this isn't exactly a mukbang. Sorry, John. But Wonder Wife is here. <laughs> and she is taking me for a Valentine's trip that I have been told is horror related. So I thought I would just film an intro. We'll see you guys when you get get to our destination. <laughs> well, guys, um, I don't know what's going on, but we're pulling up to the Carolina Cinemas, or at least we're turning here, and I don't know anything that's... <laughs> Give me another evil laugh. <laughs> Carolina Cinemas is my favorite cinema. They were independent, and then they were bought out by Cinemark. And... Uh, there's almost no one here. And there's almost no one here. <laughs> and Cinemark wisely kept all the things that made them, that made the independent cinema great. Namely, that they kept the uh, the full menu. You can have lunch here, fresh cut, fresh hand cut fries. And we appear to be, yeah, this appears to be our destination. And they have recliners. And more later. Okay, definitely a level of crowded. I am happy with. <laughs> we are here at the theater. I have to order our food. New mark of comfort for movie going. Our auditoriums are sanitized before each show. High touch surfaces, concession areas, and restrooms every 30 minutes. And hand sanitizer and seat wipes are never far away. Employees are provided with masks, gloves, and updated training on cleanliness, safety, and food handling. Guests are required to wear face masks. We encourage physical distancing and ask that you dispose of all trash when exiting, giving us extra time for enhanced sanitizing. Each theater will now have a chief clean and safety monitor on duty to ensure your experience meets the Cinemark standard. Clean, safe, and comfortable. So sit back and enjoy the show. In this town on Valentine's Day, everybody loses their heart. It looks like Harry Warden's back in town. In the town of Valentine Bluffs, there are many ways to die. Take your pick. My bloody Valentine. Mark of Horror again. Here are a bunch of the Valentines that my wife got me. Um, there are Valentines in here, plus I pulled some out just to show you. Um, you're the ghost with the most, babe. You make my head spin. Reagan from Exorcist. You float my boat. I would never play games with your heart. You've got me on pins and needles, Valentine. I'll follow you anywhere. A more prepared person would have made sure these were all face up. Jeepers, you look good enough to eat. And you're so cute, I could just eat you up. And there were a dozen others that my wife sent me. And one more item she got me for Valentine's Day. 
That will end it. The Valentine's cards came from outside the box cards on Etsy.com. Uh, the Valentine cards came from outside the box on Etsy.com. They're just adorable. Um, and they're all different. There were no duplicates. My wife also got me Crystal Lake Memories, the hardback edition of the complete history of Friday the 13th. Um, they did later make a documentary on this that's that's absolutely marvelous, and you should check it out if you're at all a Friday the 13th fan, because the documentary is, I think, six and a half hours long. Um, details everything you would ever possibly want to know, but I'm still looking forward to reading this. And it is a, it is a beautiful coffee table book um, filled with all kinds of all kinds of photos from the series. And stories by all the people that made them. I'm really looking forward to reading this when I've got some time to kill. Click like, subscribe, or even comment below, because I want to hear what you think. No fair.